I'm Starborn. Remember to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. In fact, uh, I am going to be talking about a lot of light in the sky, because if you've been looking at our, on my website, starborninstitute.org, you'd already know that the title of tonight's show is A Mystery Clears Up. And why is that? Because yesterday we had a full moon at 17 degrees of Virgo. And Virgo rules facts and details and making sure that things add up. And it rules occupations that are of service to others, uh, such as uh, teachers and nurses and policemen and firemen and social workers and community volunteers, because Virgo rules being of assistance to others. And it rules the traditional sixth house of employment, of your job, and of employer-employee relationships as well. And so a mystery can clear up now because there were a lot of planets, six of them in fact, that were in a harsh T-cross under the full moon yesterday in Virgo. And because it was only in, at 17 degrees, it's still there today. <laughs> and so the mystery is actually ruled by Pisces, because Pisces rules the number seven, and seven is the number of mystery. Well, Virgo is ruled by the number nine, the number that is the highest of all the single digits, and so it rules finishing. And since that full moon was in Virgo, but it was opposing the sign of Pisces, uh, which could involve things that are hidden behind the scenes, there is an indication right now under the full moon, first of all, that tensions can be running very high because there are six planets that are opposing and squaring each other. And the full moon does represent being systematic, Virgo rules accounting. So there are going to have to be some uh, mysterious answers that come to us in order to clear up a confusion, a confusing matter that can be perplexing a lot of people. Because that full moon uh, in Virgo has been opposing four planets in Pisces. And they are Saturn, which has just moved into Pisces, so it's at only one degree of Pisces, but it's going to be there for two and a half to three years. And then uh, Mercury is also in Pisces, and that means that since Mercury is Virgo's ruler, and it's opposing the sign it rules, that can be adding to tensions as well, <clears throat> because the ruler is opposing its own sign. And then the Sun is also in Pisces, and so is the ruler of Pisces, Neptune. So those four planets are coming up against that full moon right now. And the reason why tensions can be running very high is because there is a sixth planet that is squaring all of those other planets, and it is Mars in Gemini. And Mars now is squaring Saturn. And Mars and Saturn are two malefic planets, only they are not in harmonious aspect to each other as they have been for many months. And so that's not too good. And that is why tensions can be running high, because something can be going on behind the scenes that is not at all the way it appeared to be. And so there's a mystery about it. And with this full moon in Virgo, it looks like one way or another, we can be wanting to get to the bottom of the mystery, and that's why it can clear up. Uh, and I think that is because we are simply going to be finding out more facts. And tensions can be running high because Virgo also rules banking. And there is actually a grand trine in the earth signs today, which is pretty good for practical matters or getting down to the nitty gritty. And so that full moon in Virgo is trining Pluto, which is at the 29th degree of fate in Capricorn. And remember, Virgo rules your job or your work, but Capricorn rules your career and your um, public reputation and uh, your long-term security. And the full moon being trined by Pluto at the 29th degree of fate 
can indicate that there is something fateful going on that has to do with your job or your health, for Go Rules Health, and it rules the whole healthcare field, or your long-term security. And then Uranus in Taurus is also trining that full moon in Virgo. And Uranus is a very unstable, volatile planet in a sign that rules uh, investments. But these, these three uh, planets, which are pretty strong, are all trining each other. And that means that tensions can be running high because people know they have to really look at their bottom line. Or there can be some some way that the budgets are just not stretching right now due to high inflation, high interest rates, and high debt. And this can be occurring not just among you and I, or you know, just as we go to the grocery store or something, it can be occurring among large corporations, government agencies, or institutions. And they can be contemplating the higher cost of doing business. And uh, their budgets can not be stretching either. And so that would lead us to be searching for answers right now or asking for accountability in something. Uh, you know, there could be a few things going on behind the scenes that are way different than they have appeared to be. And that could be coming out now. Uh, because now that Saturn is in Pisces, where it will remain for two to three years, um, we are going to find out a lot about things that are a little bit different behind the scenes. And uh, we will have to deal with the truth. And it can be the truth about financial matters, health conditions, or long-term career choices uh, right now. But that can change. Saturn isn't going to change, though. Saturn's going to be in Pisces for a while. And so it's a planet of perseverance. And so if we don't find answers to some mysterious things that are going on, that Saturn will continue to search for them. And uh, we will have to face facts. And so that's, that's why the mystery sort of clears up right now as we face reality. And we realize that we, there can be changes in management. There can be changes in broad policies that affect all of us. Simply because corporations and governments and institutions and, and your employer or the, the people you do business with uh, they're all looking at the bottom line, just like you are. And they will have to make management changes or policy changes in order to stay in business. And um, that will affect all of us as well. So there's that going on. But the real instability or the real search for the truth actually is coming from that Saturn that has now entered Pisces. Uh, because Pisces is the sign of mystery. But Saturn is the planet of perseverance. It's not happy in Pisces because it always wants to see results. You know, Saturn rules Capricorn. And Capricorn does rule your 10th house of career. And it rules big business and big government agencies and institutions. And it rules management at the top and policies that may have to change. And so we're, we're going to have to face the truth on something right now. Just face the facts. And as more and more facts come out, uh, we'll just we'll have to keep saying, okay, it's better to know the truth and accept the truth and go on. Okay, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Hmm, Aries. Well, Aries, you know, uh, you, you are still living under a ray of sunshine, Aries, because um, Venus, which is a, fast, a fairly fast mover, has moved past Jupiter now. And so now it's ahead of Jupiter, but they both Jupiter and Venus are still in your sign, Aries, which is good for you. There aren't any other planets in fire signs, but these are the two best planets in the heavens. And that means that you can be very excited about getting a new beginning underway. But behind the scenes, Aries, it's like you almost have to wake up and smell the coffee. And the reason why is that there are four planets in Pisces right behind your sun sign, and they are under duress because the full moon in Virgo is opposing all of them, 
and Mars is squaring all of them. And that's happening in the background of your life, Aries. So uh, things are not running smoothly in the background of your life, even though you are in a wonderful mood. And you can be anticipating a new beginning, which is either your own, which can be working real well for you right now, or someone else's new beginning, and you can be sort of helping them make sure that they have a good one. Well, that's great. So that's all out in front of you. But what's behind you can be the clearing, uh, the need to clear up a mystery about something that that looked one way, but it wasn't, or it, or the facts, the facts were stated in one direction, but as more and more of the facts come out, oh, the truth comes out with them, and a mystery can be solved. It's not going to be solved right away. There are six planets in harsh aspect. And the four of them are in Pisces right behind your sun, so tensions are running high behind the scenes about something. But I don't really think that anything can disrupt your wonderful, um, optimistic frame of mind right now, Aries. So I hope you enjoy that and that you keep going forward on a new beginning. It can be that as a, a mystery is cleared up behind the scenes in your life, it can be a very good reason for you to go forward instead. And so uh, make the best of having the Venus and Jupiter in your sign and just go forward confidently right now. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Hmm, Taurus. Well, Taurus, remember I said there is a, a grand trine in the Earth signs, which means that if a mystery is going to be cleared up right now, it will be cleared up by revealing more and more facts. And as they sort of pour out, which is what the full moon in Virgo rules, it rules facts and details, and it's trining your sun, Taurus. And also Pluto in Capricorn is trining your sun. And so that means that there can be a fateful change or a fateful decision about your career or your public reputation or your standing in the community uh, or, or a possible retirement. That's what Capricorn rules too. And it, it could influence you positively right now, Taurus, because the full moon trines your sun too. So it can be that you have your mind a little bit more on not the mystery of life, but on facts and details that have to do with business or your investment or your health condition. And, you know, if you are looking, oh, and you could also be thinking about taxes because they'll be coming up. So you can be really looking at the bottom line right now. I think you might like what you're seeing, Taurus. And also, if you are retiring, or there is a change in management in the company that you work for, or in policies, uh, they could benefit you. Even, even if there was a change with your employer, it would still benefit you in one way or another, Taurus. And it may actually offer you an opportunity to have more freedom because Uranus rules freedom and it's in your sign but it's being beautifully trined by the moon in Virgo today and by Pluto in Capricorn so there's there could be a, a sort of a fateful change in your life Taurus but I would say it's for the best and I would say that you're probably going to enjoy it and you'll have the money to enjoy it as well so uh, I I think if there were any problem in your life, Taurus, it would be that you need to concentrate much more on um, your health and on making sure that you're very healthy and that you're going to stay that way so that you can enjoy uh, a possible retirement or even opening a new business of your own or, or just doing something your way. I think you're going to be able to do that. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Hmm, Gemini. This is a time, Gemini, <clears throat> when tensions can run high and you can feel like you are right in the middle of them. And that is because Mars is in your sign and it has been fortified since last August by a trine from Saturn in Aquarius. But Saturn has moved on now. It's, it's in Pisces. There's nothing in Aquarius right now because Mercury moved on too. And so there's nothing. Uh, to trine your sun right now, Gemini. And that Mars in your sign is sitting there. It's about to change, but it hasn't done it yet. And now it is squaring 
the full moon in Virgo today, which means somebody is is demanding more facts from you, or, or somebody wants to sort of get down to the nitty-gritty of something and uh, want some accounting of something, and maybe an accounting of some of your finances in one way or another. And <clears throat> it can be that there's a business matter that you are sort of up in the air about, and it's not your fault. It can be that somebody else is being a little deceptive, or there could be a mystery about something right now, or they have been leaving you out of the loop, so you don't really quite know what they're doing. And that's why a mystery needs to be cleared up. But I'm not so certain that you can do the clearing right now, since there's nothing fortifying your sun sign, and Mars in your sign is squaring the full moon in Virgo today, and it is also squaring Saturn in Pisces, along with Mercury, your own ruler, and the Sun, and Neptune in Pisces. So, you might be feeling like you're caught between a rock and a hard place right now, Gemini. And so I would say, at the very best, you could be in limbo right now. You're not where you want to be, and you could be looking at change, and tensions can be running high, because you're a little uncertain about what other people are going to be doing if there is a change. And uh, so <clears throat> I think that you should try to be, uh, you should try to stick to the facts and um, try to look at things from different angles instead of just, instead of just one angle. Because things could look a little differently if, if you sort of look around a situation. Instead of just focusing on what is upsetting you, uh, sort of try to get the bigger picture right now, Gemini, if you can. If you can't, you're going to need to wait out a time when tensions are running high. And I would say, um, the quieter you are, the better off you'll be. With Mars in your sign, this is not the time to come out and say what you really think. Just keep it to yourself, Gemini. Uh, just just backpedal a little bit, or just be real quiet and wait. Um, this is a, a, a time that is sort of harsh for the mutable signs. And the mutable signs are generally very agreeable and tolerant. And I don't think that's what you're facing right now. But you must not overreact to anything. Because uh, yours is an air sign. Uh, just think that the wind will blow. The winds of change will blow. And uh, they, they, won't, they won't be blowing so adversely. Uh, so just, you can hold your ground, but I wouldn't be too strident in anything right now, Gemini. Uh, just sort of step to the back of the room and keep as quiet as you can and let other people spout off. Uh, maybe they want to get something off their chest. Uh, maybe they, you know, maybe they just want to do their own thing. Fine. But don't reply to anything right now because somehow your words would be misinterpreted. So, be as quiet as you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? <clears throat> well, Cancer, you do have a lot of <clears throat> uh, activity going on behind the scenes that can be sort of beneficial to you if a mystery is cleared up now. And the reason why is that there are four planets, which is a stellum, and they are all in Pisces, trining your sun, Cancer. So Saturn is trining your sun in Pisces, and it will stay that way for the next two to three years. And then Mercury is also trining your sun, and so is the sun, which is good, and Neptune in Pisces. And so, uh, Cancer, I have a feeling that if you have been misled in some one way or another, uh, you may find that out now, but it's really better to find out the truth than it is to believe something that is just, you know, a great lie. Or, you know, something that just looks good on the surface, mm, but it's really not. And um, so you may have put your faith or your trust in uh, uh, people who are very good at being deceptive. And one form of deception is omission. It simply means they can say, well, I'm telling you the truth, which they are. 
It's just that they're not telling you the whole truth. They left out other things that were pretty important. And, and now a mystery has arisen about how could that happen. And I think, Cancer, you're going to find out the truth. And <clears throat> uh, when you do, um, th there is a possibility that you may make some sort of decision. If you're in a position, a management position, or a policy-making decision, uh, you could you could make a better one right now, a better choice. Or uh, you could decide, oh gee, I've been led down the garden path and I don't want to go that way anymore. I'll make a change. But it would be a change for the better, and it would be based on the truth. And um, that's a good way to live, Cancer. <laughs> so. Um, I think that, that you benefit um, from having a mystery clear up or getting the whole facts about everything. So if the truth comes out and you are a little disillusioned by it because you only knew half the story, not the whole story, uh, then you'll just have to sort of live with that disillusionment and decide that you're going to do something about it by turning a corner and going in a better direction. You can do that. And so um, uh, I think you're going to find out something pretty important this week, Cancer. And um, it, it, it will be for the best. Whatever you find out, it's better to know it than not. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Hmm, Leo. This is a time, Leo, when, of course, since yours is a fire sign, you are being blessed by having Venus and Jupiter both in Aries trining your sun, which is great. It means either your new beginning or somebody else's new beginning uh, can benefit you. Uh, if you're doing something new, it's going to work out fine. If somebody else is uh, involved in the new beginning and they ask you to join them, that's going to work out fine too, Leo. <laughs> So uh, I would take advantage of any new opportunity that you hear about. And if I were you, Leo, I would follow up on them. Because you're under very good aspects to benefit from um, anything that seems to be a new beginning right now. And so I would really go for it. That also includes if you want to travel or if you want to uh, get a better education. Or if you want to be around people from foreign countries, or if you're interested in international organizations, or even um, international law, uh, all of those things would benefit you in one way or another, Leo, so that would be great. But you have to understand that that full moon in Virgo is right ahead of your sun sign. And that means that tensions can be really running pretty high right now because there are six planets in mutable signs all squaring and opposing each other. And so if I were you, Leo, I, I would stick to um, being a little bit more modest. Virgo rules modesty. And if, if you don't want to get in the middle of somebody else's fight, then what you should do is... Um, you know, Leos like to be the leader. They like to be in the spotlight. And uh, they like to party. They like to have a good time. But if I were you, Leo, I would keep a low profile right now. Uh, you can certainly be having a, a stroke of pretty good luck right now. That's great. But I wouldn't celebrate too hard because that full moon in Virgo is right ahead of your sun sign and it's being besieged. And, and yet, there's a trine in earth signs. If you stick to just the bottom line, or thinking about facts and details, or being real careful in your accounting, and all that requires sort of quiet work, uh, then you're going to be fine. But if you decide you're going to be your usual effervescent self out in the public eye, uh, you may find out that you're a target for other people's tension right now. And all I'm suggesting is that you keep a low profile and avoid that if you can. There are too many planets that are uh, in harsh aspect to each other in the mutable signs. So people that you are used to having be real agreeable are not feeling like that right now. And so if I were you, I'd be a little quiet too. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Hmm, Virgo. 
this is a time, Virgo, when <clears throat> you can certainly benefit uh, by the things that you do well in a natural way. Uh, Virgos are really good at adding things up uh, because your sign rules accounting. <clears throat> so you can look at the costs on one side and you can look at the benefits on another side and you can see if they equal out or not right now. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, something costs too much. Okay, well, then you know you're going to have to cut back somewhere in your budget. <clears throat> or you could say, well, if I put money into this, it will, it will greatly benefit me. And you can make a decision to do that instead. So uh, if you stay on top of your money right now, Virgo, and you handle it very carefully, uh, you could do pretty well. You really could, you could set yourself up for something pretty nice. Uh, not speculative, but nice over time. And this could involve your career as well, or a pension plan that you have been slowly um, contributing to over the years. That could be working out pretty well. Or it can be that you have an investment or that you want to change your investments in some way uh, so that they can be a, a little safer but also earning you a little bit more. Okay, so all of those things would work out well as long as you're working on your own behalf. But if you're jumping in to something where there is a mystery about something and you're asking more questions and you're wanting to find out what the whole truth was about something, you could, I think you could, because you'd be sticking to the facts, but you may not be appreciated for that, Virgo. And that's why I'm thinking you should keep your, your mind on your own business and not on someone else's. Uh, because more and more facts are kind of be coming out about some sort of mystery. And the mystery would involve a deception. It would involve Pisces rules illusion. And so somebody could have been um, portraying a situation as being benevolent and healing. And instead it turns out that that was a way of preying on people or victimizing them. And you wouldn't know it till you found out the whole truth about it. And uh, that's what we're about to find out. So uh, if I were you, Virgo, I would uh, sort of mind my own business right now and, and pay attention to it because you could handle it pretty well. And uh, otherwise, I think that um, since tensions are running high, uh, you would want to stay out of it because um, it would make you a target. And you don't need to. There's a grand trine in earth signs. Uh, just stick to the bottom line, your own bottom line for a goal, and you'll do just fine. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Hmm, Libra. Well, Libra, that full moon in Virgo was right behind your sun sign, so there's a lot of light in the background of your life right now, Libra. And it could center on a health matter, because Virgo rules health, or on some way of being of service to others or it could involve teaching or nursing or being a community volunteer or a social worker in one way or another, or just being of assistance to somebody, helping somebody else out with something. Um, you may have been thinking about that for a while and deciding, hmm, that sounds like a good idea. I have the time, I think I'll try to help somebody. Uh, well, that's fine. And if you are concerned at all with your own health, Libra, this would be an excellent time to really get a full picture of the state of your health and how you can adapt a health condition uh, to new things that you want to do in your life or to new partners that you meet. I mean, you can. Uh, a lot of people have health conditions that are very treatable. And they don't necessarily go away, but they can be very treatable. And, and, you know, life goes on, and it's just fine. So remember that, Libra, that life goes on, and that you can go forward. Mars in Gemini is still trining your sun. So you could be very busy with something or communicating a lot about something, um, but there are no planets in Aquarius anymore, so uh, you're a little bit more on your own, Libra. And just remember that 
whatever facts and details come out right now, um, since Virgo is right behind your sun sign and the full moon is there, uh, there can be more information that can be of benefit to you. So uh, you, you should contact people, uh, ask questions, uh, write down the answers, and just go forward in your life, Libra. And uh, even if you decide, well, you want to move a little bit more slowly than usual, well, that's okay, as long as you're going forward anyway. Um, so don't let anything stop you is what I'm saying. And uh, remember that the more facts and details you get, uh, the better you will be able to handle your own life in a happy way in the future. And uh, that's what you want. So uh, if you have questions, go get the answers, Libra. They'll do you a world of good. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Hmm, Scorpio. Scorpio, there are four planets in Pisces. They all trine your sun. And so you are probably going to be involved, Scorpio, in clearing up a mystery. And even if you didn't know the whole truth to begin with, uh, you will find it out, or others will find it out, and it will tend to benefit you. Because Saturn, the Sun, uh, Neptune, and Mercury in Pisces are all trining your Sun. And um, since Pisces rules things that are hidden behind the scenes, there's just too many planets in that sign right now to have things remain hidden. <laughs> they won't be. Uh, the truth will come out. Uh, a mystery will be revealed. And something that was uh, sort of a picture that was painted one way, when the facts come out, we're going to take another look at that and say, oh, that's not, that. we thought that was a pretty picture. Oh, but it's horrible. And so the truth, when a mystery is solved, uh, there will have to be some justice done. And Scorpio, your sign rules justice. So you may be involved in some sort of justice once a mystery is solved. Or you could help to solve the mystery uh, just by going around and asking questions and uh, digging a little deeper for the facts. The full moon in Virgo sextiles your sun. That's good. And uh, all the planets in Pisces trine your sun. And so, you know, that's the moon in Virgo sextiling your sun, and the sun in Pisces trining your sun. The lights are with you, Scorpio. And uh, that's why I think that maybe it's a little bit better if you ask some tough questions and got the answers to them. Uh, because Scorpio rules survival as well as justice. And I don't think you're going to survive too well unless you know the whole truth about something. And the same with all of us. We're, we would... We would do better if we knew the whole truth because we can, you know, we're grown ups, we can handle it. And um, so I think that uh, you may be in a position to even see that justice is done once the truth is revealed. And it would be fair. It would be fair in one way or another. Uh, so you will benefit from a mystery being solved now. Or being cleared up and uh, I, I think that that will be um, much better for you Scorpio uh, you can't survive if you're kidding yourself about something or you can't survive if you're living sort of on yesterday's news uh, you really have to go forward with the truth and right now the truth it seems as if it's going to come out and a, and a a mystery will clear up, but tensions are running high. This will not bother you, Scorpio. Your sign rules war. If you can make it through a war, you can make it through anything. So um, <clears throat> do your best. And uh, since Saturn is going to be trining your sun for the next two to three years, uh, there are a lot of things that can be revealed from behind the scenes that will tend to strengthen you once you learn them. Uh, so, if you've been wearing rose-colored glasses, Scorpio, this is the time to take them off and just look at things and people and events 
either past or present, uh, because I think you can handle the truth. So this is a real good time to look at it. <clears throat> okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Hmm, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Sagittarius, uh, this is a time when, yes, you still benefit from having Venus and Jupiter in Aries trining your sun. And so I hope you make the most of a new beginning, Sagittarius. In fact, I think you need to do that. You need to do that real fast, Sagittarius, because yours is a mutable sign. And now, today, there are six planets in mutable signs. They all square and oppose your sun sign, Sagittarius. So the only way out of something for you is to make a new beginning, which is aspected for great success. So don't stand around or don't wait any longer. You are in some sort of situation right now where the tensions are running high. And the, it, you may not have caused it, but the tensions are still running high. The full moon in Virgo, squared your sun, Saturn, Mercury, the sun, and Neptune in Pisces also square your sun, and Mars in Gemini is still opposing your sun sign. You could certainly be the victim of malicious gossip that it could be completely false, but somebody can be, due to their greed or their jealousy, they can have put out a lot of misinformation that could have been directed at you, Sagittarius, and boy, you need to just turn the other way and, and don't confront those people. Just turn your back on them and get out of there. And then, <clears throat> since all these planets in Pisces were squaring your sun, and one of them is Saturn, a malefic planet, and then Mars in Gemini is opposing your sun, and Mars is another malefic planet, I would say that, um, you know, you could be in a very tense situation right now, Sagittarius, and the only way for you to go to get out of it is to go forward and make a new beginning in another direction. And you can do it. You can succeed at that right, right now. I wouldn't waste a minute, Sagittarius. Uh, there's some situation around you, even if you didn't cause it, it could be actually, Sagittarius, that you have people around, even that you've been doing business with, uh, that are not on the up and up, because a mystery is going to clear up one way or another. And it will be about something that was hidden behind the scenes that was the opposite of what it appeared to be. For instance, what if somebody has been putting on a big show about how rich they are? Well, when the real truth is, is that they're deeply in debt and um, not to be trusted. Uh, so I think you have people around you right now that uh, the reason the tensions are running high is because there's somebody around that isn't telling the truth. And you can be greatly affected by that. And you need to, you need to just go off in a new direction right now, Sagittarius, uh, just as fast as you can. And um, as a mystery clears up, I would say it's very important that you don't get caught in it. And that's why you need to make a new beginning. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Hmm, Capricorn. This is a time, Capricorn, since Pluto is at the 29th degree of fate in your sign, but it's being beautifully tried by Uranus in Taurus and also by the full moon in Virgo today. It simply means that you could get some pretty good news about your health and also it can be that you are simply deciding that um, you want to go over the books or you want to go over every aspect of your life and sort of look at how much it's costing you and, and what you have that's worth keeping and what you have that you don't need anymore. I mean, sometimes that we, we sort of fill our lives up with memories or things that represent memories of times that are past and people that are past and it isn't that we don't still love them but um, after a while if you surround yourself with too much of that then you get to be living in the past and you know the future is calling everybody uh, it's just that um, it's lucky that the 
The sign that rules the future is Aquarius, and that's right ahead of your sun sign. The ruler of Aquarius is Uranus. Uranus has been training your sun for the last five years, and it's got two more years of doing that in Taurus. And so you really should be devoting yourself to something new. You probably have been doing that sometime in the last five years. But I would say, since you only have two more years of Uranus training your sun, that you sort of need to get on that, Capricorn. Something new. Uh, it could be very creative. It could be ahead of its time. It could be something that you're sort of inventing or wanting to do creatively. But you can do it. And I would do it while Uranus is, is, is in Taurus. Because there could be some more money around. Maybe there are some things in your life, Capricorn, that you know you really don't need anymore and you have no intention of ever using them again. Maybe you could sell them and raise some money uh, to, to, to devote to something else you'd rather be doing. Why don't you think about that? Because that full moon in Virgo also trines your sun. So you're in a perfect position to make a sort of a practical decision about something or to attend to small facts that can add up pretty uh, beneficially for you right now. So good luck. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Hmm, Aquarius. Well, Aquarius, are you breathing a sigh of relief? You might be because for the first time in years, there are no planets in your sign because Saturn just went forward into Pisces, and so did Mercury. But Saturn has been in your sign for almost three years, Aquarius, and so it has burdened you with something, or it has, it has created setbacks that uh, you had to learn to adjust to and overcome. So it's not just that you had a, a problem or two to solve. You had some real serious challenges, and you had to turn them into something positive in your life. And you did. You've done it, Aquarius. There's something very positive in your life right now. And you can look at it and say, I did that. I mean, it can really boost your confidence because you can see the results of the struggles that you've had in the last few years while Saturn was in your sign. And those results are looking pretty good, Aquarius. Um, I mean, you are definitely more talented than you were before Saturn came into your sign about three years ago. Uh, you, you've learned new things. You've adapted to things. Uh, you've had burdens. Uh, they don't seem to have stopped you. They might have. They might have overwhelmed you at times, and um, may, they may have made you feel bad sometimes. Uh, but they did not stop you. And so, Aquarius, <clears throat> Mars in Gemini is still trining your sun. And Gemini rules communication and easy transitional change, and it rules neighborhoods. And since Mars is in good aspect to your sun sign, this is a time when, gee, Aquarius, get out of the house. Go and meet your neighbors, or uh, get out in the public eye, or join a class or do something new, or take a short trip somewhere. These are all the things that Gemini rules. But you would have the energy for that. You may also meet somebody who's very energetic right now, and uh, certainly a good communicator. And uh, that would do you a lot of good. Um, Mars is the only planet trining your sun right now. Uh, it's the only planet in an air sign right now. And so uh, use that Martian energy that someone else might have to your benefit, Aquarius. Uh, tell yourself that that's, that's a little um, something that you deserve for having made it through a pretty tough time in the last few years. And uh, you, you really have risen and done a good job. And so uh, you should get out and celebrate a little bit, Aquarius. This would be a good time to do that. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Hmm, Pisces. Well, Pisces, tensions are running high, and uh, you could feel it right now. <laughs> and the reason why is, first of all, there are four planets in your sign alone. And one of them is Saturn, a malefic planet who, that's only at one degree, just came into your sign. 
Mercury is in your sign right now, possibly making you uh, a little bit more verbal, uh, thinking a lot more about things, uh, wanting to sort of expand in one way or another. And uh, then the sun is in your sign, and so is Neptune, your own ruler. Those, those are two really good planets. But gee, they're getting hit, Pisces. You may feel as if there's people coming at you from all sides. Oh, I think you're right about that. Because that full moon in Virgo is opposing all four planets in your sun sign. And Virgo is a sign that rules facts and details. And so somebody wants to know the facts about something you've been doing, Pisces. And they want to know all the facts, not just the ones that, that are the good ones. <laughs> they want to know everything. So if you have not exactly been forthcoming with something and you've been sort of keeping it all to yourself, or even hiding something, uh, it'll come out, Pisces. And if it doesn't come out now under the harsh aspects of the Moon in Virgo opposing all four planets in your sign, and Mars in Gemini squaring all four planets in your sign, if it doesn't come out now, it'll still come out. Uh, whenever, uh, for, during the time that Saturn is in your sun sign. So this is a time when um, Pisces you must face reality. And <clears throat> that could have something to do with a health condition of yours. And that is because Virgo, where the full moon is that's opposing all the planets in your sign, Virgo rules health. It also rules banking, so you should look at your bank balance and make sure that you're not, uh, you know, that you're living within your means. Um, but if there is some sort of mystery that you've been hiding about your health, this is a time when you're going to need to face a health condition that has maybe uh, gotten a little bit out of control. I mean, uh, maybe, maybe you are letting it run your life. And that would not be healthy mentally or physically. And uh, Pisces people have a very sweet nature. And it's a healing water sign. And they're very, very creative. It rules illusion, but it rules photography. Um, and so, uh, Pisces, are you living up to your best? Because um, if you're sort of escaping something by sort of not looking at it or running away from it or, or just indulging yourself in some way, sort of quietly, in a way that pe other people don't know about too much, you know, when does it go beyond self-indulgence and become a burden? And you, you have to look and ask yourself, oh, are all the habits that I'm doing good for me? <laughs> because either you have been involved with uh, uh, people that have not been telling the whole truth, and that's why tensions are running high, because the mystery will be coming, will be getting cleared up by facts and details. Or else you've just been just plain really kidding yourself about something you've been doing that is maybe out of control now. And um, um, Saturn is a planet of depression and uh, or worry or doubt. And um, it's going to be in your sign, you know, for the next two or three years. And so if there is something that has been bothering you, Pisces, even from the past, you know, past doubts and past pain, okay, th things that, you know, you haven't told anybody about, but they do worry you. Um, sometime soon, you should go and talk to somebody about those things, whether it's a best friend or whether it's a counselor or a doctor or something, you should go and talk to them about it. You know, because Pisces, <clears throat> You can't heal other people until you heal yourself. And I think you really are over something, but um, maybe the habits that you develop to sort of get over something, uh, maybe they are ruling your life more than you think right now, and maybe you need to uh, just 
ask yourself going forward, since Venus and Jupiter are in Aries right ahead of your sun sign, which means you could make a great new beginning right now if you wanted to, Pisces. Even if you have doubts about it, you should go forward. And ask yourself how much of your past doubts and past pain you want to take with you. Well, not much, I hope. Because um, Pisces people are, they're, in the best sense, um, they're angels of God. And if you've been doing anything or being around people that are not your real type, uh, why don't you leave that behind and um, be your true self and don't take your pain with you and or your doubt. Because tomorrow's a new day and you have a perfect opportunity to walk right into it with a big smile on your face and be new all, all over again. So give it a try, Pisces. Venus and Jupiter and Aries right ahead of your sun sign. You could not ask for better aspects to make a new start right now. I mean, there's nothing better than what's right ahead of you, Pisces. So go for it. <laughs> and leave yesterday behind. The future's going to be better. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see this show and uh, read my blog on my website, starborninstitute.org, or I would be happy to send it to you if you'd like to subscribe to my Karen Campbell YouTube channel and tell your friends about it, too, because that way, we can, just from week to week, we can all sort of get through a tumultuous year. And even if tensions are running high right now, <clears throat> Uh, don't rush in where angels fear to tread. <laughs> Exercise a little caution this week and uh, let some other people uh, uh, lose it. But don't you lose it. I, I hope none of you uh, goes overboard this week. Just uh, concentrate on the facts and stay cool. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week. Bye.